Over the last few years, there has been increase in the number of patients who are undergoing liver and kidney transplant, bone marrow transplant and other transplants. With these, there is a rise of infection in these population. And infection is a major cause of morbidity and mortality in these patients. This could be related to their decreased immunity before the transplant and it could also be related to the infection during the uh, operative period and post transplant. So there are various risk factors which are very peculiar to this group of population. So we have with us Dr. Deepa Govil who is Director Critical Care at Medanta Medicity Gurgaon. So Dr. Uh, Deepak, what are the risk factors which predispose these patients to infections? Uh, particularly the post liver transplant infections? Actually, they are multifactorial risk factors. Uh, if we start from the beginning, majority of these patients who are coming for transplant, they are severely ill for long duration and they are bedridden many times and they are also nutritionally depleted. And you know the liver is a major organ which supports the immunity. So once the liver is gone, they are already immunosuppressant. And on top of that, the long surgery, close to 8 to 10 hours of surgery with multiple blood transfusions and blood products and then uh, high doses of immunosuppressant to save the, to support the uh, uh, recipient um, liver. So these immunosuppressant drugs, they also causes loss of immunity. So this is the multifactorial starting from the basic disease to surgery and to the immunosuppressant drug. So there could be pre-operative, operative and, and then of course post-operative things. I think and it is also very important the net immunosuppression yes. because we have now new immunosuppressant but still uh, I think they do predispose these patients to infection. Exactly. You know the other thing which we've seen in the, all the transplant patient, although that's called the timeline. So the various infections in various timelines are different, although the timeline has changed with the better immunosuppressant. So what is the timeline for post liver transplant patients? Actually the timeline starts from the uh, immediate post-operative post phase. I would say up to one month of the post-operative phase, then up to usually these patients go home in 20-25 days. So, so in that time they are in a controlled environment. Once they are going back to their home environment, again there is a different set of infection and there are long complications like long term infections which occur usually after.